Jack Stuss Homestuck is a self-indulgent podcast featuring a heart player encouraging you to be self-indulgent too. Welcome home. Hi, and welcome to Jack Stuss Homestuck. I'm here today with Leo to talk about Best Boy Kankri. And uh, Leo also did the episode art for today, so ignore that thing at the end that says Abby did it. Abby didn't do it today. It was it was Leo. So Leo, you want to introduce yourself and and say your pronouns and stuff. All right, um, Leo or Leonardo Regalado or Pyshark, and my pronouns are he and he him. But you know, if you want to do anything else, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're here to talk about Kinkri. What what draws you to Kinkri as a character? Oh wow, well, what doesn't draw me to Kinkri as a character? <laughs> like like that's like, that's the real question. Um. I think I had like this very weird brain blast before where I was like, okay, I need to figure this out because when you ask me for this, I actually, I actually was mulling it over a lot. And it too long didn't read it is that he's very like, one, obviously he's very vocal, two, he's an asshole, but like in a very like subtle way type of deal. He's this parody of a social justice warrior in the sense that they are not really like fighting for anything. And like, Ironically, that is still translates to Twitter 2019. Somehow he's a very topical character. I I I, I call I insult people by calling them cankries and they hate me for it. So <laughs> <laughs> I like it's I like him a lot because yeah, he's a jury. He he has a lot of opinions, but he will voice them. And I kinda that's what I kind of respect this last like. It's like he will say it. He doesn't say it in the best way. He doesn't say it in like he doesn't have a correct opinion all the time. It's the fact that he has many wrong opinions, but I enjoy <laughs> that he will say it anyway. So, you know, there is like, there is a stuff he's kind of hiding sometimes, but you also know that up front, here is ABC, you're going to get ABC, and sometimes maybe a D because he's kind of a sneaky bastard, but that's beside the point. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's what I like. Country. Also, he's red. Yeah. And that is important very important no. of course yeah kinkri i mean kinkri is probably my second favorite dancester after Porum. um i i love him so much because i guess he reminds me of what i could have been like you know those branches you see in your life it's like man i could have gone down the real wrong road there and I'm like i could have been a kinkri pretty freaking easily <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I think that's a pattern with me. Like, you know, I like Dirk because I'm like, oh, yeah, that was me when I was in high school if I would have gone a little bit worse. And with Kankery, it's like if I would have gone worse in a different way. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, because because, yeah, like you said, he's he's opinionated. Like you never you'll never not know where you stand with Kankery. Like he's going to be real about shit. Yeah, like you, you. He's gonna know he hates you. Like he's very <laughs> alright. Like it's just like with Mituna, for example. He's like, I think you're a bad example of disabled people because reasons. And like you're never gonna wonder if he hates you. He's just gonna say it. It's right there, and it's just like he's just bending all of his things out. And like and and if you that is the thing, if you dare to call him out in anything, he will confuse you even more with your own words. And also, I like that you mentioned that thing about Dirk and about how you could have been slightly worse because um, I did two things to experiment with this. One was like I made like a while well back I made like a cankery test, and I put a lot of people into a chokehold because they scored just enough points to be fifty percent like cankery, <laughs> and that was like my way of saying, yeah, we all have this thing that is like we want to talk, we want to like impose our opinion over things, we want to like strongly like are you but like if you're not careful you're gonna end up crossing this line where you just end up like stepping up with other people for the sake of like saying what you what you think and oh everyone else is wrong and i am the holy grail of knowledge obviously that's how this works um yeah um the other thing i did i did notice too that Kankri and dirk and a lot of people can kill me for this, but I'm gonna say it again. They are kind of adjacent in a very strange way. Like it's they talk a lot. They have like I don't know. There is something in their book called Bitterable Patterns that I found when they when I was studying both of them is that they are kind of connected, not in a literal sense. Like you, uh, but it's just like they are like branches of the same wrong. So to put it in a way. 
you yeah. know yeah. um yeah <laughs> <laughs> that is what i think um yeah no that's that's legit i'm glad that i can have more excuses to talk about dirk on non-dirk <laughs> episodes <laughs> So you just open up the plate, there you go, just talk about Derek and Al. Like <laughs> it's fine. I, I love Derek, so it's just <laughs> it's, it's all good. I mean, aren't all problematic characters really about Dirk? No. Um <laughs> Dirk is everyone, remember? <laughs> everyone is kidding Dirk. Uh kidding yeah. Dirk kills everyone. It's just this is just another thing is, you know. That's um, that's how it is. Yeah. But yeah, no, I I love, like, I know he's not trying well, and to try, you actually need to listen to people, but I also, like, slightly appreciate it, and I also appreciated the, the call out on, because, like, I liked his tags, how he would tag stuff as, as slurs and being problematic and stuff, and it just reminded me of, like, um, God, what's the the term for it? Like tone policing stuff that I would see on Tumblr all the time. Because I was I was really 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 into Tumblr before I got into Twitter. After Tumblr decided to kill itself, um, <laughs> so I was I was surrounded by cankries on Tumblr. That was the part of Tumblr I was in. Oh and God, I'm so sorry. Yeah, no, guys, blocking people is fine. Please do it. Um. <laughs> yeah <laughs> just do it like yeah. it doesn't have to be like they're a horrible person they can just be a cankery and you can just block them yeah they can just be a slightly annoying or saying something you don't like you just like block them and in twitter exists the silence few, few the silence button is like the best thing out there like i use silence 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 i still love you but i'll be back when you stop saying a stupid shit silence silence <laughs> silence be gone uh i love that but yeah i get you because um Actually, I wanted to get into that. Like, my ex boyfriend is someone I would ca uh, capitalize as a cankery because um, he was uh, very like, oh, white racism is a thing, you know, that type of bullshit. And it's just like, Jesus Christ. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, we ended up breaking up. Like, he broke up with me because I didn't support him. And I was like, yeah, how am I going to support you when you're just like saying those things? You know, it's like, I'm not going to like keep dating. It does. It's. It does. What you are breaking up with me? Good riddance. Bye bye. Like I. <laughs> I. I have never suffered for that one. Like that's. Hey, yeah. I'm going to be before I. Did. <laughs> uh yeah no Kankri is one of I, I guess pretty much all the problematic faves are like this or actually most of my favorite characters in general are just like I love you as a character and I would love to like write fic about you and read about you and see all this stuff about you forever but god forbid you are a real person oh no yeah no no like if uh Kankri as a character fantastic I can write it I can see it I can draw it Kankri is a real person is I'm allergic. I have blisters <laughs> in my mouth just from talking about it. It's just like no, 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 no. Realistically speaking, yeah, a lot of problematic characters you will never want to see in face to face or even even share the same room. It's like no, but you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I that. I do like to pretend that maybe if if Kinkri had a chance to like grow up and get out of the phase where not listening to people was the thing to do maybe he would be better but as such he died at 19 and stayed in the same state for countless years yeah like that's something i i actually wonder about the ancestors is that they are kind of like they have been in they have been the 12 of each other they have been together for like thousands of years in the same bubble unable to like how long have they been there being like the um reverse reversing like you know like they could have developed something at, until they were 19 and then they have spent thousands of years with, this, with the same 12 people that will do something to your personality <laughs> yeah <laughs> and yeah. I, I wonder what it will be before that but it's like oh god oh god this is where we are now after all of this jesus yeah. christ and this, um, not, okay, I'm going to relate this to something that will sound unrelated at first, but teenage vampire stuff, right? How you're like, why do these vampires pretend to be teenagers to go to high school forever? Do you think, like, I, I wonder if, like, 
when you get stopped at that teenage age that you stop maturing in that way as well and you just get stuck in how you thought at that age and it's like it makes sense if you're stewed in your shit when you were 19 for thousands of years like i get it you know i probably wouldn't be any better if that happened to me like if like imagine like your body is stopping in the middle of your hormonal imbalance depression like it it doesn't go anywhere it's just stuck there forever it's not gonna get better it's not gonna get worse but it's like your 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 yourself is not gonna move anywhere yeah it makes sense that you will like turn into <laughs> into like a terrible person if i was like stopped like when i was 17 16 my god absolutely <laughs> not <laughs> oh yeah i mean yeah no it's it's bad i mean who can look at themselves from a few years ago much less when they were in their teens and be like that was a perfect person and i wouldn't mind staying that person <sighs> if you're saying that you ha you lack the self-awareness to no to <laughs> notice like the mistakes that were there because uh thankfully we'll get better I at least i hope so because you know yeah, and, and that's why I like to read fix about, like, people exploring the possibility of Kinkri on, like, Earth C or something, and maybe slightly getting better eventually baby steps. Yeah, I, I feel like he could be flexible enough from someone who is willing to, like, hammer it down for him constantly, or, like, even doesn't even have to do it. You have to, like, you have to, like, cut him in his own contradictions. He will start, like, Mm, feeling down he has like a very short fuse so it's very easy to like push him to like a bring point where he actually has to think what he's saying and not like preach you 24 7 but i i think like if he had the right motivation like if he had like the right um the, the right things behind his work he will be like a very powerful person like a very powerful character because he will be imagine someone is relentless with what he believes if he was actually preaching someone that, something that was worth it like if he was actually talking about actual minorities or actual like um fair way to he was actually meaning things that that weren't just like superficial if he wasn't defending people for being like other kin and instead was just feeling people for like trans rights or something like that. Someone with that much like relentless fight to just like keep going no matter what for the correct causes will be undefeatable. But sadly, he's fighting because I guess I don't know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, just yeah, it'd be like that. They're, they really are out there being like that. Well, yeah, I mean, we we see his potential in the signless. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, no, he's he could be so good. I I love him so much, though. Even as he is, as just you know, a could be better boy. <laughs> oh yeah, I adore him. Like I, I I like to think about this. Maybe what if you know he gets slightly better, whatever. But I also like his. As holy ways, you know, how he is, how he's like this subtle, like, a stabber, because he's like, even with conversations with Horus or Cronus, he'd be like, I don't believe in what you're saying. Like, I don't believe it, but I'm still supporting you, but I think you're so stupid. Like, that sort of <laughs> thing. I, I adore that out of him. It's just, it's just ridiculous how he uses, he can get away with anything because he's going to put it in a very nice way while he's actually insulting you and stabbing you in the back, you know? It's, 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 yeah. Like, just imagine having the confidence to just say stuff, you know? Like, <laughs> yeah. Kanker just says whatever, like, and he just thinks he's right, and he just yeah. says it. And I'm like, man, you know, I could use some of that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, wow, the possibility to say whatever you want, and then you get you get met with con consequences, you don't give a shit? Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who cares about consequences? <laughs> Kinkri doesn't. You know, say give us shit. It's like even with like people because people do kind of like Mina treats him very poorly. Everybody thinks he's an asshole. Like it's not like and nobody thinks like, everybody thinks he's insufferable. That's his nickname. He doesn't give a shit. He's just standing there. He be like, all right, you may think that of me, but I'm gonna lecture you again. Why? <laughs> Why you stepping on grass is bad. I'm gonna do it again. I don't care. Let's go. Uh, it's just... <laughs> Damn, he's powerful in a way that I, I, I will I will fear. But like, yeah. 
it's, it's <laughs> absolutely it's it's fantastic like you know sometimes i i'll say an opinion like you know i i kind of like cheese but i get it if you're like lactose intolerant or whatever like don't get on to me because i like cheese i'm sorry i like cheese i get it if you don't it's cool if you don't and canker just be like fuck you if you don't like cheese yeah (laughs) (laughs) not liking cheese is extremely offensive and i and i will i will cancel you for it but first i will lecture you about why the seven ways you should eat cheese but why every other one is wrong as well People put so much hard work into making this cheese and you're going to turn your nose up at it? Do you know there is people in Africa that cannot eat and you're t- you're not eating this fucking cheese? <laughs> God, I hate that. I hate that so much. God. Yeah, it's it's really good. And I really can't help but remember Phil, who before getting into Homestuck was tricked into role-playing Cancri. Oh my god, I I related with that so much because like um I it's like I didn't I I'm not a, like a long st- time cankery stand like you, you can actually track my progress back to 2018 like the end of the like October exactly October <laughs> like that's exactly not a year. one year since you've been a cankery yeah stand. oh god it's been a year <laughs> oh no <laughs> holy shit this is, yeah this is in celebration of your year anniversary of standing cankery. <laughs> Happy Cankriversary, oh god, thank you. Um <laughs> it's like uh um ooh, um we went on a role play with my boyfriend, like a group a role play group 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 thing. I'm not gonna mention it because fuck that place. And <laughs> and he we were gonna do like Mituna and Curls and we we're preparing for that, but someone took our ca- those characters and we were like, oh what are we gonna do now? We were preparing for that for a little while, so what now? And he was like, okay, I'm going to take Cronus because you have Arian and we can play them as brothers. And I was like, but who do they cheap Cronus with? And one Google search later, it's Cancri. So <laughs> I was like, oh God, you're going to kill me. Arian writes a lot. Cancri writes even more. I'm going to do this because of you. And I actually started to like research for him and reading his logs. and. <laughs> And starting to role play that, and I something that I started dreading at the beginning because it's not I just didn't start outright with like good disposition. I, I started loving it when I was literally just like, oh, um, I was when someone would complain about anything on the chats, I would be like, oh, why are you complaining? Because blah, blah, blah. I will just like lecture people out of nowhere, and. It became because the place itself wasn't really like very friendly for multiple reasons that I'm gonna get into. He became like um, the outlet of my displeasure. Um, he could complain about these things, and everyone would push it off like, "Oh, it's just cankry talking," and I could just get away with this stuff. And I was just like so exhilarated about like being able to complain about irregularities, people not following the rules, like t- literally. Um, moderators taking advantage of other people for the sake of their own role play experience. They will just like do whatever the fuck they wanted. So I will just complain with him, and I think that's where I got I got my love for him, which is just he was he's the avatar of my displeasure of all the things <laughs> I I dis all the things that I dislike, and he will say them, and I was just like, oh god, I have no filters. I only have to be slightly polite. I I, I win. Uh, yeah. It, <laughs> And then when we left the place, because it was inevitable, um, yeah, I, I just kept writing him, and I write it, I written essays as Kankri. I read it like someone asked me what was bored once, and I wrote like these five paragraph explanation as Kankri of what was bored, and it's just like it's probably my brightest moment so far. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic! Is that up on Ao3 or anything? Oh no, no, no! It was uh, back. It's on the role play. And it's on oh, the roleplay blog. Yeah. yeah. You know, sounds like a treasure lost. <laughs> <laughs> I, I should like transplant all of my stuff that I've written as Gangria in AO3, but like I, I'm not a confident writer, which is why like a lot of his stuff is like hidden away in like a little chest and then no one looks at it. That's like my boyfriend. <laughs> like, but yeah, no, it's like he allowed me to get this confidence to just like, I'm a use right, whatever I want. Hi. <laughs> it's just that's that's, that's fantastic yeah. yeah 
That's so good. Yeah, yeah. Keep, take that kinkery confidence and just use it. <laughs> yeah, like in a good way. Don't, don't. Yeah, I'm not gonna be. Like, a... <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're not. We're not. We're not encouraging people to become kinkery. No, 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 no. Don't. Yeah, like use 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 it to get a little ahead to like to get your voice out. But the moment you start realizing that you're becoming a jerk about it, it smash yourself on the face and be like, "Why the hell are you doing this? Stop it!" <laughs> yeah, the the important thing is to be open to criticism and for people to be like, "Hey, actually, maybe not," and yeah. uh, that will prevent you from becoming cankery. Yeah. Like, uh, number one tip when it comes to that sort of stuff for me is, like, don't come, don't come into an argument thinking that you are right. Just yeah. come into an argument thinking that you have a statement to make and evidence to prove it. But if you come thinking you're right, doesn't matter. it doesn't matter if you're right or wrong. You're just going to come as a condescending prick. Uh, so <laughs> don't do that. Absolutely, yeah. We all, we all know people like that. It's not, it's not fun. No, it's it's not. And and yeah, because you can't have any discussion with anyone about it and you just go off and you leave and they're still there talking and you just walk off and they're still there talking and yeah. you make yourself some tea, go to the cinema, come back, they're still talking. Um <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Life imitates art. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Holy <laughs> Oh my god, now I want someone to lecture Kankri with, like, how to have an actual discussion, like, a professional, like, how to have an actual discussion post, but with Kankri. Uh, no, don't, don't tell me, I'm gonna start writing it. <laughs> like... <laughs> I mean, that would be so good! Oh uh, god, I hope, like, it's, I, I, I wouldn't mind writing Kankri more, I just like to draw him, and they'd be like, hey guys! I'm here to remind you that I'm your local cankery stand, and you, there is nothing you can do about me. I'm already here. Uh, yeah, that, yeah absolutely. Because I asked you if you had any cankery art you wanted to use, and you're like, I do, but I'm going to draw something new anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> which is, you know, which is great. I love it. I can help it. I really can. I, I, I like him a lot. Like, I, I really enjoy his character. I just... I really enjoyed this talkative, lectury <laughs> prick <laughs> of a person. Absolutely. And I, I loved your art in the problematic zine. And um, I, I should probably say problematic faves zine, because I think there's another one coming out that's just called problematic. Um, really? <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then I really loved Crow's uh, kinkery essay fic thing that got added on to another piece of art. Oh, that was delicious. I was like looking at it for a little while, like, ooh, good stuff. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, like that, that. Oh, sorry. Yeah. No, I go ahead. I wasn't saying anything. Yeah, no, no. Uh, like uh, that's something I'm gonna admit. I don't read much fan fiction, and okay. that's that's mostly born out of the fact that I have a lot of friends and a, a lot of people from my past fandom, and they all, mm, let's say, eighty percent of them wrote fan fiction, mm -hmm. and. I could not keep up with all of their stuff all at once. And I decided that the smartest idea was like, if I cannot read everyone's fan fiction, I'm just not going to read any. And then I never did. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way to deal with it. Yeah, it was like, oh, do you read? No, I don't read any fan fiction. Like at that point, I'm just cleaning my hands and just being like, no, 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 no. It's just like, quote unquote, the fair solution is really isn't. But <laughs> <it's> just... <laughs> I mean... I yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we're getting about there with podcasts, which is great. I love how many podcasts are coming up. But at the same time, there's only so much time in the day. Oh, yeah. It's like, oh, great. I'm going to listen to your podcast. And then your podcast. And then your podcast. And then your podcast. And then your podcast. <laughs> I know. It's so it's so good. I absolutely encourage everyone to start a podcast. Just everyone. Every single one of you. Um, oh, that's fun. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, um. I'm gonna pretend I had something to say there. <laughs> <laughs> that's the best way to like. It's just like you start talking. Like, that's how I do it. You start talking, and then I make everything up. How? Like just like angry. He just makes it up on the fly. It's fine. Uh, yeah, if it yeah. works for him, it works for you. Which is not a good thing to say. Also, so stop that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like 
like every time we're like, yeah, we like this one thing, maybe two things from this problematic character, but absolutely throw out the rest. Yes, like, oh, um, questioning feminism, put that out of the way. Uh, saying people have to abide by the ableist stereotype, put it out of the way. Fucking having a short fuse and getting a, yelling at people for saying no, put that out of the way. Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like just no, no, all of that, all of that stuff that he is like, um, making people that they keep their bad habits so you can have reasons to lecture them, put them out of the way, also. No, no, bad, bad, <laughs> bad, can't do Yeah, that. jumping into any discussion whether or not it intended to you because you have opinions that you are going to force on people. Awesome. Yeah, but so that was my favorite thing in Open Bound. Is you'd be talking about something, and suddenly like Cancrey would come in. <laughs> he will rear his head. He's like, mm, <laughs> "You said something problematic." I hear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> With Twitter, that's like so prevalent too. Like it's oh, just like <laughs> it's like how did you even find this? You don't follow me. You don't follow anyone I follow, and yet you're here. Yeah, it's just like oh. Oh, we don't follow each other. Do you do you? I don't. I didn't even write the name of the character, and you're here to correct me. Mm, how could this happen? <laughs> Absolutely, it's you know people just do that on Twitter. They don't have anything better to do, but like I don't know, search terms or something. I'm not sure how they do it. I'm not good at Twitter. Uh, I don't know. I like I use Twitter to literally scream like, "Hey, who has bagels?" And then I use leave for like three hours. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, did you get bagels from it? Uh, no. Oh, well. <laughs> I'll tell the one time I was tweeting about so about um cream. I did get cream, so it's fine. Um, well, you know, if it works once, then I guess it's yeah. worth it. Yeah, it, it worked. It worked. Oh God, we're I'm sidetracking. <laughs> no, so it's sorry. completely good. I. It's what this is. Uh, staying on topic is for plebs. <laughs> But, um, but yeah, no, Kinkery is a good kind of reflection on, because I think a lot of us do have a tendency to accidentally default over to how Kinkery is about stuff. And it's good to have this character who is a, a stereotype of the worst parts of, I guess, social, jo just, social justice warriors, if I can talk. Um, and to be like, hey, no, you're kind of being like that, dude. Bad because of that so maybe don't and it's a, it's a good self-reflection if you're kidding can't read too much maybe stop and think maybe hey here's here's a proposition maybe just don't king cancry um <laughs> <laughs> i mean if you do fine like i'm not like i've been accused several times of kidding cancry uh because i talk a lot and because i'm like very like feisty and you know what fair fair Th that's a line i can cross the line where I don't cross is where all of his bullshit comes in and he's just like again like what was we're talking about like a relentless asshole is like hey, yeah no that's don't do that don't don't do take the good things or the bad things off I think that works with any character actually just like take all of the good things apply it to yourself and all of the bad themes things use them as a ruler to mess with yourself with you know are, are you going too far type of deal yeah Absolutely. And uh, yeah, we could use that self-reflection some more. <laughs> but um, yeah, did you have any any big final kinkery thoughts? Um, well, uh, <laughs> final kinkery thoughts. Uh, he, um, I, I know he's never going to come up again. Or, well, at least that's what I think. But uh, he, I, a mini shout out to the person that in the... In the in the aspect scene that made a cancrous sticker. <laughs> like, I mean, like, laughing a lot because there is, like, the stickers are, like, Rose, uh, Dave, uh, John, Cancri. It's like, I <laughs> thank you, the most important for the main character of the comic, Cancri Bantas. That's fine. It's like, there are no other stickers of people. It's absolutely hilarious to me how, like, they use, like, they use, like, oh, Cancri, that's fine. Um, <laughs> oh, that's so, fantastic, like, yeah. Yeah, that's one thing. The other thing is like, uh, Ken Cribantas is when it's a seer of blood whose um, whose participation in the plot was secondary, either as Ken or as a designless. And a lot of people don't like him, and that's all fair. 
And I think that there are as many other side characters in Homestuck, there is just this untap potential for that. But at the same time, it's that's for us. And I have to say that I am just very glad for this asshole I see, so I don't look that as much as much as about a person when I'm talking. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's all. That's all. Uh, Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and and where can people find you on social media? Oh, go ahead. <laughs> no, I, I have not. Um, you can find me at Pie Shark in Twitter, um, Hair Manco at Tumblr, but mostly just it's just search Pi Tree Shark. On any social media, that's gonna be me. Except Tumblr. Don't look at that Tumblr. That's that's not. I'm not associated with that Tumblr. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, that's about it. Um, okay, hit cool. me up. We can talk about country. <laughs> yeah, awesome. And I'll have links to um, all of that below. And uh, thank you so much for joining me for our second problematic fave episode and and talking about country. Thank you for having me. It was fun. Yeah. And I will see you guys next week where I forget what we're doing, but we'll be having a guest on. So yay. Yay. This podcast's theme is Dirty Dirt Kenny and was created by Domi, who could be found on SoundCloud as Domino Thief. The art for the podcast was done by Abby, who you can find on Twitter at Space Arby's. Unless it wasn't. Shout out to my patrons, Kansas Just Got Gayer and Jacob King. To become a patron and get episodes up to five days early, along with other benefits, go to patreon.com slash sociallyanxiousdragon and sign up for as little as $1 a month. You can find links to that and more in the episode's description, on the podcast's Twitter, JaxDoesHS, or on JaxDoesHomestuck.com. Please remember to rate this podcast on iTunes and share with your friends. Thanks for listening, and... Don't forget to be a little selfish.